we see game developers do this countless amount of times. Like, Minecraft back in the day used to have blockading, and everyone knows that the pre-1.8 PvP was lovely, but they got rid of it in the 1.8 patch. Can put things into your other hand. So if we do that now, it moves on over to the other <laughs> Fortnite had building, clear editing, and even double pumping, and of course that's gonna go, because, I don't know, every game decides to do it. Now don't get it wrong, games are always gonna change their fundamentals and their mechanics, as one, it keeps it refreshing, not only for old players, but for new players as well. Two, sometimes the game might genuinely be way too hard. When you look at a game like Rust, the skill gap literally feels like it's just being able to spare a gun. Yeah, there's map knowledge and just overall game knowledge, but how many times do you lose a fight because you couldn't even control the recoil as opposed to seeing your opponent? I'm dead. Shit on- No way! I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm just saying when it comes to other games like Apex or even COD, where you could hop on and just, you know, kind of shoot things and kill. I'm not saying you have to be the best, but you can actually do it. It makes it very hard to enjoy games like this. I'm confused. Like, if Rust is so hard to play, just go play Apex. Like, why are you? This is a man's game. Go play a different game, baby. What's the? Why, why is this even a video right now? The problem is the concept of Rust is very good. Like, it's actually fun to get on and play with friends and just fuck around. Whether you're fucking around or tryharding, it's actually fun to play the game. The concept's great. You raid, you build up together, you struggle together, you fall together, you argue together, you laugh together, you live, you love, you love, you do it all. But how are you supposed to live, laugh, love under these conditions? And so a couple of days ago, Facepunch actually released a tweet stating that they finally have the recoil update coming out. And a lot of people are going crazy over it, I'm not gonna lie. TikTok, YouTube controversy like myself, and even Shroud? Shroud, huh? Nonetheless, people have their mixed opinions on it, as everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But I really don't think it's that bad. even lie after watching that it looked kind of bad the whole not being able to beam from a mile away it was kind of like offsetting but no one really knows or like no one's really played with it yet and maybe that might be for the better to be honest it'll just be running and you're just dead from god knows how far because they're just landing every shot for some reason who knows i deadass can't help but to feel kind of bad for the people who dedicated thousands of hours into just aim training but at the same time i personally don't agree with games needing that many hours just to be able to shoot a gun like I get the whole make the game hard, make it challenging thing, but like this was kind of ridiculous. But I mean, eh. I feel like the change won't be bad. I feel like it'll actually be kind of good. But I mean, who am I to speak? I only have 974 hours in the game. To be honest, that's like beginner steps. So the only things I'm personally hoping for is that they don't keep those wacky gun sounds because they sound a little bit ridiculous. I hope that that LMG isn't broken because it might just become overtuned as hell. I mean, it probably already is, to be honest. And that's about it. Could they have potentially ruined the game? I think so. Are they going to gain more players? Yeah. So are they winning? Probably. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think they just destroyed the game and you're never going to play it again. Or if this is a new beginning for you and you think you're going to enjoy it. Alright, hope y'all enjoyed. No! Do you think I had shot by the... Uh...